Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Back away. Bastard. Yeah, you racist son of a bitch. Yeah, I am. You're don't right. touch me, mate. You don't bastard. touch me. That hurt me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This is on live on Facebook. You live on Facebook. Good. Move away. Move away. Move away. Move away. Move away. Go. I've got you. Oh, why don't you get run over by the car? Don't get hit by the car, mate. Come on. Are you ready? Come on. Come on. Keep ready? on going. Keep on going. Keep on I'm going. going. No, I'm going on. Keep right? on going. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do your deal. Keep on going. Put that on Facebook. I'll kill you. Do it. What is that kill you? Do it. Oh, do it. How? Oh, you think you're hard, do you? No, don't think I'm hard. I don't think I'm hard at all. Like, we gotta give credit to, like, the heroic act of, like, look, if you see somebody homeless, right, that's getting attacked by these, like, right wing chuds, like, you know. It's very brave to like step up because he knew what he was doing, right? If he, if you see somebody that's like going after somebody, right? And then you intervene and you're recording them and stuff like that, you know that it's being drawn towards you, right? Obviously, if he's a person of color, he knows the situation that like this racist is gonna direct his racist violence over, you know, whoever like he can target in the moment. So like he he brought this, like, you know, he obviously like distracted this guy from somebody who is like obviously like more marginalized who's struggling from homelessness um doesn't necessarily have like ability to defend themselves uh to put it on himself so that like you know thankfully the situation didn't escalate any further obviously that person was threatening to kill him right so it could be pretty scary and so we have to recognize the heroism but this is where we really need to expand on this and touch on like the attack of homeless people cuz this is something right wingers do all the time right like there are random people who attack homeless people like uh, for example out of Portland, the Proud Boys, right? A lot of people hear stories about them getting into scuffs with, you know, anti fascists. But what a lot of people don't hear about is the fact that when they can't find any anti fascists running around, the Proud Boys will run around beating up homeless people, right? And that reality is something that should be scary to everybody because. Mm -hmm. Really, the way these people see it is they're willing to commit violence against whoever is convenient and whoever they think they can get away with. Get the in your car right now. Your car, you cut me off, stupid son of a. I cut you off? Yeah, you. That's why I your license plate, you. Congratulations. Wow, what did you say? Say that again. Say that again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. What did you just say? What did you just call my wife? What did you just call my wife? Did you just call my wife? Oh, yeah. You me off. Stupid son of a. So get out of the car. Let's get a small car. Call the car. Go, I will. Go ahead. So I don't condone violence. I always say that for TV. I do condone self defense. When he came back to that car, that was what we call. In my neighborhood, an ass and opportunity moment. Now, this male Karen, obviously a racist. We did not play the word, but he was calling the person driving an N word lover. So when he says this, the driver says, What did you say about my wife? Well, sir, in all due respect, he's saying it about you, and it's also an insult to your wife. So he's not just saying it to your wife. Uh, this actually happened in Ontario, Canada. Here's what's fascinating to me. There are terminologies that really go global. Racist terminologies that have been adopted by nations all across this planet. Uh, this is one of those moments where we highlight to provide a mirror for reflection. Yes, but hopefully for correction. Somebody knows this guy, let's put his picture up full mass. We have not been able to independently identify this racist Karen, this racist male Karen. But if you know him, there needs to be an intervention. I'm sorry, refund my mail. You want to talk to your boss? No, I don't want to talk to mother. You for her call me. And what was you? I call her. Did she call me. You have a nice day. Call the cops. Call the cops. And you think I won't? Y'all, all you
think this is acceptable? Huh? You f***ing What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Like I said, you're entitled to your own freedom of speech. You can call it as much as you want to call it. You can't call me that. You can suck it. Right, right, right. Yes, I got told him. We're not just suck it. You can 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 suck it. Put me on TikTok. You, I bet you I'll beat the f***ing You can the suck it. I bet you I'll beat the f*** out of you. You can suck it. Your parents you can you suck like it. Look at what you're acting like. Thank you. You're you bitch. You ain't getting it. Grandmammy got it, bitch. Yeah, okay. You fat ass. Okay. okay. Fat ass. Your chicken, your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Your chicken getting cold. I co-sound on everything that employee said. Now, let me say this to you. Uh, he said that you know if she puts this on TikTok, he was going to do um, something physically harmful to the young lady. So uh, not only am I putting this on TikTok, I'm putting it on YouTube, Facebook Watch, Samsung TV, Pluto. Uh, we're going to have this on Xfinity Flex and a few others, all right? So we'll see what kind of energy he has after this goes viral again. So what are your thoughts about this case? Uh, do you think he has a case if he wanted to file? Um, some kind of criminal charge or would the Popeyes employees have a criminal case against him? Oh, I think it's more likely that the Popeyes employees would uh, have some foundation for a criminal case. Uh, this individual, he just seems like he was, uh, you know, that he's very comfortable using the N word and it's something that he frequently goes to. And his response in this manner, it just is definitely Karen like behavior, but it's hitting that level of threatening people's lives and putting people in fear for their lives. And I do hope that he has identified and that he suffers consequences, whether they be in the criminal justice system or just as it concerns individuals who interact with him in any way, even in an employment context, because individuals like this need to be exposed for who they are. They should have to hold their head high and say, yes, I am a racist or yes, I make threats against people and use racial backing to make them uncomfortable and fear for their lives. 